Okay guys, so my first major piece to my office is here. My desk. Ah! So I'm trying to wait for everything to get here before I try to put my office together. So piece one. my chair just got here that's my desk and i also got a couple other things to put in here let's get started so the first thing i'm going to do is actually start on my desk now still being conscious of what's happening in the world around me i'm going to discard of the box sanitize my hands and then put the desk together together there it is <laughs> so what i'm going to do now is just open the box up and then you're going to see me sanitize my hands and take all of the pieces out this is to continue to keep everything as sanitized as i can um as a part of the process i sanitize i take things out of the box put them to the side discard of the box come back and sanitize my hands once again i know it sounds like a lot of sanitizer it kind of is but it's something that i feel like i have to do i don't know i just don't feel comfortable otherwise the contents of the box i'm not concerned about because these have been packaged and just been ready to ship out sitting on shelves for a while so what's inside the boxes i'm not so concerned about in addition to that i always let the things that i have sitting in the boxes um wait for a few days so i normally don't touch the boxes for at least two days before i take the contents of them out i'm not in any big rush unless it's something i need immediately which this desk wasn't one of those things plus i didn't have time to put it together so now i'm going to sit down break out these directions and try to start piecing this thing together <music> So it was at this point that I started to try to figure out if I was putting things together appropriately because I'm trying to figure out how the desk is supposed to go so I can flip it around and add things where it's supposed to be. Um, and I had to go over it a couple of times as you guys saw, I looked a little confused there. Um, I'm going to start to assemble the other part of this L because this is an L shaped desk you guys. And it was complicated if you didn't put the numbers where they go. It's very, very much so lined out. <laughs> in the instructions here but this is the piece that i got backwards you're gonna see me make a little face at the end of this section you guys of this of this clip where i get kind of a grrr face going because i actually read it read it three times and i still did it backwards now that i got them flipped around the desk came together exactly how it was supposed to come together and it's starting to look really good Thank you. 
So now I put the desk in the position of which I wanted it to um, sit in the room um, to create the space for my office. And then I started to struggle trying to figure out which way these slabs are supposed to lay on here. And I had it wrong the entire time. And at some point I realized, oh, this is not how it's supposed to go. I looked at the picture and I figured it out. Alrighty guys, my desk is set up. I'm gonna go and make the food for dinner tonight real fast and then I'll come back and finish setting up my office space. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put my chair together. Um, as I said, I'm not really concerned about the inside of the boxes because these things have been sitting for days. Um, the outsides are probably fine too, but I just don't trust it. I'm just pulling all the pieces out and I'm gonna sit down and start to assemble my desk chair. You guys excuse the food on my shirt dripped <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and start assembling my chair now um i go based off the directions every time you guys because i don't trust myself um putting things together by eye i'm just i'm not that great at it so i'm just gonna pull everything out get all the plastic off of it and follow step by step and pop this chair together it was really easy to put it together you guys it took me like maybe 15 minutes to get the chair assembled and it's really comfortable um it rises up and down you know how regular desk chairs do swivel slide it's, it's a really good chair and it was just very very easy to put together And here is that chair all assembled. So now it is time to start decorating the actual space around the desk, you guys. So I purchased these shelves from Amazon. They are floating shelves. They were really inexpensive, you guys. The set of three costs like 13 bucks. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to put these into the wall. At some point, I'm turning the camera off because I am not good when it comes to hanging things and screwing stuff in the walls. <laughs> I'm not good at it, but I gave it a shot and it worked out. I have a leveler, everything turned out great. This picture actually, um, the frame came from my mother years ago and that was just something I printed offline and it turned out really pretty. I wanted some of the jasmine flowers that I was named after. Um, some were hanging up in the space as well. I think they're really pretty and it just added another little piece of me to the walls. Before I started putting things on the desk, I wanted to make sure that I had it wiped down and disinfected. Everything that I put on here was relatively inexpensive. It came from like the Dollar Tree or something like that, Walmart. Very inexpensive stuff. I wanted to do everything that I could and stick within a budget. All right, guys, I'm gonna reach a stopping point for the night because it's getting late and take a shower and go to bed. Um, so there's a couple more things I wanna do in here, of course, but I'll do them in the morning. I'll show you guys, and then we'll also do the final reveal then. So I'll see you guys in the morning. concludes my office makeover which I didn't really have an office before so I guess it's not really a makeover it's an office setup video um, thank you guys so much for watching um, as you guys know this is our guest bedroom which um, we don't really have guests we probably won't have any guests for a really long time um, but I needed a definite space to work in and a definite space um, to do my videos to 
um, plan, just to get things done in. And this space will make me want to get up and complete some things as opposed to kind of bouncing around, trying to do it on the couch, trying to do it in one living room, trying to do it at the dining room table. Um, so I decided that this was a good time for me to set up a space for me to actually work and to actually kind of uh, buckle down and focus on the things that I want to accomplish this year. So that is what I think I accomplished with this space because I absolutely love it. <laughs> There are many reasons why I chose to use this space. One is because um, there was a little space for me to actually set something up and create a space where I felt really comfortable working. Because there's a little TV in here and there's a bed, um, I can get work done even when I have uh, my son around me. Um, trying to do that in other spaces, uh, for instance, when he takes his naps, um, sitting in my bed trying to work while he's asleep um, and the room is kind of dark. Um, was a little bit difficult because then all I wanted to do was take a nap too. Um, so I wasn't really getting things accomplished. So with the bed being in here, he can take his naps in here. He can watch the educational programs on the little TV that's also in here. I've also purchased um, a couple things that he likes to do. For instance, this guy, I just got it from the Dollar Tree yesterday. This was $1 and it's just the foam little push outs with his alphabets in them. But he actually loved doing this yesterday. So I have little things in here for him to do, like puzzles, um, just stuff to stimulate his mind um, and just kind of keep him going. And that way he's not just sitting in here playing with toys or bored. Um, this gives him something to do while I'm able to still have a definite area to work. So everything in this video was relatively inexpensive. You guys know I like to do everything that I can on a budget. Um, the most expensive things, of course, are this, this laptop, which I got months uh, ago, which was, it was last year. Sometime I got the, the laptop, but um, my desk, my uh, chair were most uh, my most recent purchases, as well as like these little things like this here. Um, but everything was relatively inexpensive. I will leave the links in the description box below just because I don't want to give you guys prices that I paid and they may have been on sale or discounted in some way. Um, I can go ahead and tell you what I paid for everything. Um, the desk was about $130. The chair was about the same. Um, and then these little baskets here um, were $30 for the entire set, which came with this, this, and then the little um, pen holder as well as the thing for my sticky notes. Um, and the envelope holder as well. Um, the floating shelves behind me came from Amazon. The set of three was about $13. Um, and they hang really easy, you guys. They also come with all of the uh, hardware. You may need to hang them, screws and things like that. Um, the picture frames, everything else came from Dollar Tree, you guys. Except for this calendar. The calendar came from uh, Sam's Club. I showed you guys that in a grocery haul the other day. And it was like five, six bucks. They had them on sale um, for five dollars off. And it's a really good, really sturdy calendar. It has like pockets and everything in the front in case you need to, you know, slide something in there to remember. But everything else, you guys, came from the Dollar Tree. Wait, I think I lied. Everything I just recently purchased did come from Dollar Tree. Some of the old stuff that you already seen in past videos, like the chalkboard, um, actually came from Hobby Lobby. But everything else that you see behind me, like this little canvas, this little canvas right here, <laughs> from the Dollar Tree, as well as those butterflies, all of the picture frames that you see here um, came from Dollar Tree. Uh, the little uh, grateful, thankful, and blessed, uh, those came from Dollar Tree as well. Um, and the pictures that are in the frames, I just printed off. Um, on some plain paper and it came out really pretty kind of looked like a pastel painting um, And I just put them in the gold frames that I got from the Dollar Tree the candles um, The frames on my desk the Kleenex <laughs> the vase the flowers all of that came from the Dollar Tree you guys because as I said Being on a budget is very important, especially in the times that we're in right now um, And this way you're not breaking the bank just to set up a space for yourself But I do think it's very important to set up a space for yourself so as I mentioned before, everything will be listed in the description box below if I can list it. Um, so most of the stuff will be the stuff from the Dollar Tree. You kind of have to go into your own Dollar Tree stores and see what they have there, what they have on sale, uh, what they have in stock. Um, that's kind of what's been happening with me lately. Um, and I went in the other day and found a good chunk of this stuff. And as I said, I've never spent that much money in Dollar Tree before. It was like 40 bucks. Um, but I got everything that I needed for not just in my office, but some more um, Valentine's Day decor, which is gonna be the next video that you guys see is me setting up my house for Valentine's Day and just putting a little bit of fall, or not fall, Valentine's Day decor out. Um, and I got a lot of that stuff um, as well as all of this stuff around me and I think it came together in the way that I wanted it to. I wanted it to be a little bit more feminine but not dark. 
Um, you guys know I wear a lot of blacks, blues, and browns. Um, so I thought it would be good to kind of brighten up another space. Since this room kind of looked dark already with dark sheets and the dark curtains, this kind of adds a pop of color, a pop of light to this room. And I, like I said before, I really do love it. I don't believe I mentioned it, but the desk came from Amazon as well as the chair. Um, and the baskets, I believe, came from Walmart. I'll make sure and double check, but I will link everything in the description box below for you guys, just in case you want to go and purchase stuff for yourself. Alrighty, everyone. So this completes my office up and my office tour. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. And if you're going to try to purchase some of these items for yourself, let me know how they work out for you. Again, I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everybody. Thank you.